Now we're going to look at something really quite interesting. Okay, if you look at the uh, argon diagram or the complex plane where we, uh, we draw uh, a representation of all complex numbers, uh, Z here represents the complex number, which is a, uh, a composite of a real part and an imaginary part. Okay, we can represent this in the standard form as Z equals A plus BI. Okay, where A is the real part and B is the imaginary part. Um, but we can we can also represent this complex number uh, using uh, different um, means. We can talk instead of it the angle here and the length of this line here. Okay. So if we take a unit circle in the complex plane, I we make that distance one. Okay, just for easiness sake at the moment. Okay. Then we have this triangle here. Theta B A one. So we have that A is uh, cosine theta and B is sine theta. That means we can rewrite Z in terms of these. So we can say that it's cosine theta plus pi sine theta. Now obviously if we had um, let this uh, length of the hypotenuse here be any number r, say for radius, then there will be an r here in front of these two uh, terms. But for uh, simplicity's sake, let's just take a unit uh, circle in the complex plane. Okay. So if we do that, we can um, we can um, interpret a complex number in terms of uh, the angle it makes rather than uh, in terms of the components, although they're equivalent. Okay. Um, what I'd like to examine now is our rotation matrix. Okay. So this is an arbitrary rotation. Uh, of a point, an active rotation of a point in the 2D plane. We've seen this um, a few times now. Okay, well, I can rewrite this, um, this matrix now as follows. Cosine theta, zero. Zero, cosine theta, plus. Okay, so I've just decomposed this into two uh, uh, matrices that when you add them together using the rules of addition of matrices that we've talked about uh, before, you get back the original. So these are two equivalent uh, statements. Okay, But if we do this, that will allow us to take cosine theta out of this one. So we get 1, 0, 0, 1. Uh, plus we take out uh, sine theta, we get 0, minus 1, 1, 0. Okay, so we can rewrite this in, uh, in terms of a matrix equation, which we might style cosine theta times i, this is the identity matrix, plus sine theta x, where x is this matrix here. Okay, so you, we might ask, uh, in fact, what is x? I is obviously the identity, the do-nothing uh, transformation matrix, but what is, what is this one, x, over here? Okay, well, we can um, attempt to answer that question by fo the following means. Let's take this matrix and multiply it by itself. Okay, this is a 2 by 2 matrix times a 2 by 2 matrix, and we should get a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, well, 0 times 0 is 0. Minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Okay, um, 0 times minus 1 is 0. Minus 1 times 0 is 0. Okay, 1 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1 plus 0. Okay. 
we get minus 1 minus 1, which is the negative of the identity matrix. Okay, and remember that this is x squared. Okay, well in matrix form, in matrix form, this is almost identical to an equation we've seen before, which is x squared is minus 1. x squared and minus 1, x squared equals minus 1, uh, only has complex solutions if, if we're talking about uh, uh, numbers here rather than matrices. Okay? So this is the matrix equivalent of that. It's saying that whatever x, whatever matrix x is, squaring it is equal to the negative of the identity. Okay, and the identity element uh, for matrices is the equivalent of the number, the mul multiplicative number one for regular numbers. Okay, so we can say that x here, this this um, matrix x is equivalent to a kind of a, con a, a matrix um, imaginary number. So I'm going to denote that with I with a, a large uh, circle on top, meaning that this is not this number I, the imaginary number I, this is a matrix that's equivalent to I, okay, or multiplication by I. So we can then rewrite our equation, this one here, using our new notation, okay? So we can write that our theta, our rotation ma uh, matrix, is equivalent to I cosine theta plus I sine theta. So this is complex numbers, uh, basically in, in matrix form. Okay? Um, so multiplication, multiplication by i in the uh, complex plane results in a 90 degree rotation. Multiplication by this matrix results in the same. So multiplication by this matrix will give you uh, a 90 degree rotation. Okay. Uh, so i a plus i b equals a minus b b a. This behaves exactly as a complex number. This matrix uh, behaves uh, identically as a complex number. 